Hey there, welcome to another video from Tribe Wellness about boxing training. In this video, we're gonna talk about a close range punch, a powerful punch. We're talking about not the jab, not the cross, we're talking about the hook punch. And this is such a powerful punch if we do it right. And if we do it wrong, uh, it can really minimize our training. So my hope with this video is that you get some education on how to th uh, throw a hook punch with proper body mechanics, with really good alignment, so you can generate a ton of force and you can minimize your risk of injury so that way you can keep on training. So when we think about the hook punch, we know that there are three key components, three of them. First and foremost, we're talking about our pivot. That's where all the power comes from. Second, we want to think about our hips. How do we move them with good alignment to minimize injury to our low back? And third, what's a good position for our arm so we can generate a lot of power, we can pack a lot of pop into that punch, but that way we're also not tearing up our shoulder, our rotator cuff. So, pivot, hip, Shoulder, that's the order of importance with the hook punch, and we're gonna go through it right now. So, let's start out just getting in your fighting stance, your feet are shoulder width apart. You got one foot forward, the other foot back. You got a slight bend in your knees, your hands are up, you're ready to rock. How are we gonna pivot? Well, if we're going off the back foot, the easiest thing to do is to pick the heel up and turn in. So let's look at that from the side. You pick your heel up, which kind of unweights that leg a little bit. It also activates your favorite muscle in the body, the gastroc, which we know is critical for walking, for speed, for power, for any jumping or fast footwork we need to do. So it activates that gastroc. And what does that do? That really allows us to drive off and turn the hips. So let's think about our pivot a little bit. Start out by first just picking up the heel, turn in, turn back. Pick up the heel, turn in, turn back. Pick up the heel, turn in, and turn back. So you're really getting a sense of how that heel whips out. And if your heel doesn't whip out as far as mine does, that's okay. But I really want, to, I want you to get a sense of what that looks like and what that should feel like. Because once you've got that motion down, you're in a good standpoint to generate a ton of power in your hook. The next way you're gonna get power though is by not just turning the heel, but driving off of it. So if you think about it, part two of this video is about the hips, right? We wanna make sure your hips and your shoulders are aligned. Otherwise, you're throwing a hook and you're twisting your whole body in a fight that's bad because that leaves this whole area open, but also in a fight, if you're training or if you're fighting and you're really turning from the low back, that just puts you at risk for so many more injuries. We know that twisting the spine causes a lot of problems. So we're gonna pivot, we're gonna turn our hips, and we're gonna make sure we've got shoulder and hip alignment. Tai Chi students know this well. They know about this alignment because they know about how helpful it is to imagine that you've got some sort of a steel rod starting here at your shoulder and going all the way down into your hip. That's helpful to avoid that segmental movement to instead promote moving the whole thing. When you think about where does our power come from in the hook, it's not from your shoulder, it's not from your big guns that you've been working out lifting weights, it's from turning your whole body. So when we think about this punch, I want you to think about not just picking up the heel, not just turning in, but driving off, using that gas rock to drive off your pivot so that way your whole body turns in to that punch. Your whole body turns into that punch. And if it's gonna turn in, well, it better turn back, right? So let's think about this now. We've looked at the pivot, We've looked at the hips. Part three is about our arms, our shoulders. We wanna throw a good hook punch, and if you've watched fighting over the years, you've probably seen 
People like Mike Tyson defy all rules, throwing that wide scooping hook. That can work. But if we're going to train for health, for fitness, for strength, and we really want to generate a ton of power and keep ourselves and our shoulders healthy and strong, we really want to think about good mechanics. So if you get back in your fight stance, we know that with our hook, we picked up the heel and we turned in. I want you to think about just dropping that front hand a couple inches. The other hand stays up. I'm sorry, your back hand. Front hand's up, back hand drops down just a little bit while we pick up the heel and we're gonna turn through. So you see how shoulder and hips stay aligned, but also you see how I'm not gonna make impact way out here with my arm really externally rotated, that's gonna destroy my rotator cuff, that's gonna cause all kinds of shoulder problems, and we won't even get started on what that can do to the labrum. Let's go back. Let's think about this. If we're gonna drop the hand just a bit and turn in, we know that if we keep this thing locked out, it allows the whole body to be the driving force behind it instead of just our shoulder or our bicep. That's huge. And it's also really helpful from the standpoint of alignment. So let's throw a few of these. If you don't have one of these punching bags at home, these Wave Masters from Century Martial Arts, that's okay. You can practice punching the air or you can even just do mental rehearsal. We know that that's better than no rehearsal at all, right? The other thing you can think about is gloves. If you've got gloves, that's wonderful. These are also, I like these, they're available from Century Martial Arts. Uh, a lot of my fighters use these gloves. Uh, if you don't have gloves, that's fine, as long as you're punching the air. But if you're going to punch a hard surface, you better have gloves, you better have hand wraps, and hopefully you've watched the video about wrapping your hands. But I want you to think about this. We're in our fighting stance. We're gonna generate even more power by turning slightly away from our target with good hip and shoulder alignment, which allows us to really drive off and snap back. We can turn slightly away, we can lower the hand, drive off and snap back. So what it could look like it's just a smooth motion where we're just turning in. And you might think, well, that looks good. I think I'll try it. And I hope you do. And I hope you try it slowly first. Get it down. So you drop your hand just a bit. Pick up your heel. Turn slightly away. Turn in. Snap it back. Turn away. Turn in. Snap it back. Turn away, turn in, snap it back. And hopefully you're seeing in this video good shoulder hip alignment with a good pivot. That's what I want you to think about. That's how you're gonna keep yourselves healthy to train more. So once you've got it down slowly, then you can start increasing the speed. Then you can start imagining this whole side of your body is on a swivel and you're just gonna turn in and back, turn in and back. So you see how this isn't like a long range punch like our jab where we're really reaching. You see how it's not a long range punch like our cross where we're really reaching. The hook is a close range punch and we can throw the hook low or we can throw the hook high. So you can think about it in a fight, you could target the body, the head, and anywhere in between and you could get some really good close range power on your hook. You can also throw your hook off of the front hand. So instead of just coming off the back with it, you can throw it off the front. And that's a lot of fun. So you can, just like we were doing on the other side, take it slow, get it down, then pick up the speed. So what did we do first? Well, we turned slightly away, didn't we? Then we dropped our hand, right? Just a bit. And then we're gonna pick up that heel. This time we're pivoting on our front leg and we're gonna turn in and throw our hook, turn back. Drop it, pick up the heel, turn in, 
turn back. And you can see how you can imagine hitting somebody in the belly. You can imagine hitting somebody in the head. Or if you're like one of our pacifist students, you can imagine you're sending love and respect out into the universe, right? Whatever it takes, I just want you to exercise with good form and I want you to push yourselves in with your exercise so that way you can get stronger, faster, and move better. So we can throw that hook off of the front hand and we can throw that hook off of the back hand. What are our three components? Well, we know we've got to pivot. We know we need hip and shoulder alignment and we know we need really good shoulder position. What was the other thing that's a theme here? We want to turn slightly away so we can really generate a lot of power, a lot of torque on our punches. Hopefully that helps you out. If you have more questions, always feel free to email us at the email address at the bottom of the screen, tribewellnessllc at gmail.com. If you'd like to contribute any amount to what we're doing uh, for uh, boxing for movement disorders or any other pro program, or if you have any interest in working with specialty populations, taking ideas that we know work from physical therapy and putting them into a fun sense of practice like we're doing with boxing training, let me know. If you'd like to contribute, you can also click on a link down below at the bottom of the screen to PayPal. Either way, I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you can look at them over and over, work on your technique, and if you're gonna show up in class, hopefully you've practiced at home. So, until next time, keep your hands up. We're all in this together, all right? Happy practicing with your new hook power. Take care.